Hello and welcome to my new video on the gamma function. In this special video we will derive the relationship to the zeta function. Which you can see below, the gamma function multiplied with the zeta function is equal to this cool integral from 0 to infinity u s minus 1 and e u minus 1. This is pretty this is looking pretty strange, but some parts are reminding us of the gamma function, so we might um, smell some um, relationship to the gamma function because of u to the s minus 1 we had uh, something similar, we had t to the s minus 1 in the definition of the gamma function and this part is strange looking but the, inf uh, the boundaries are still reminding us of the gamma function so let's just start off with the definition of the gamma function Okay. We have the definition of the gamma function from 0 to infinity, t to the s minus 1, e to the minus t dt. Very important, this representation only converts for s, or better, the real part of s being positive. Now we are doing a little substitution. Okay, t is equal to n u, while n is an integer number, n is positive. Okay? or I think yes it's po it's an integer number and uh, it's positive because of that the boundaries do not change we still have zero and infinity if we implicitly differentiate this this will give us dt and this gives us n multiplied with du so n nothing big happened we just replace this stuff into the integral and we get this stuff okay we get nu to the s minus one multiplied with e to the minus nu multiply with n du. Now you can see we have n to the s minus 1 but we will multiply with n so we get n to the s here u to the s minus 1 and e to the minus n u. Okay what I do in the next step is uh, I just maybe let's look back I will divide with n to the s okay because n to the s is never 0 I can do that. We took positive integer numbers Okay, for n. So this is uh, the reason why this is never zero. Now, this somehow reminds us of something of the zeta function. Okay, if you don't know what the zeta function is, then you can look into my videos. I will explain you what the zeta function is, and then come back and watch this video because it doesn't make so much sense to look into or to better watch this video if you don't understand the uh, zeta function. Now, what we are doing this is only a part of the zeta function. In order to have the full zeta function we would have to add over n from n equals 1 to infinity and this is what we are doing. We are adding from n equals 1 to infinity and the right hand side has to be added to. Okay? Now let's look what happens. Here on this side we get the zeta function. Like I told you this is just the definition of the zeta function. You can look it up in Wikipedia you will see that this is really true. On the right hand side we will do a little trick because this integral is absolutely converging we can change integral and sum and then I can even take the uh, the sum to only add over the exponential because e, uh, u to the s minus 1 doesn't have an n in it okay so we are only adding these exponentials and now look at this what is this if you would write it out it would lo look like e to the minus u plus e to the minus u squared plus e to the minus u cubed and so forth okay if we um, call e to the minus u is a then we have a plus a squared plus a cubed plus a uh, to the fourth and so forth actually this is the geometric sum okay and um, as this is the geometric sum, sum we can use something, we can use the formula for the infinite geometric sum and it's very important that e to the minus u is always smaller than 1 okay because u is only positive so we have always smaller values than 1 and we can use the geometric sum which gives us 1 over 1 minus e to the minus u because this is our a and because we didn't start at 0 we started at 1 we have to subtract 1. Okay, now you see, wow, this is looking pretty similar to the stuff that we had in 
um, in the first page. But we will look what happens here. I take um, this one and just bring in this, uh, the common denominator. So we have here e, uh, 1 minus e to the u and 1 minus e to the u. So pretty simple what we did here. Now we can take both parts and add them together. Here in the numerator we get 1 minus 1. Okay, this will give us 0. And minus minus e to the minus u will give you plus e to the minus u. Okay, and here 1 minus e to the u. Now the last step that we have to do is we just multiply this, uh, this fraction with e to the u. And here we have to multiply it also with e to the u here we will get 1 and here we will get e to the u minus 1. Now look at this. This is the crazy integral that we had before and this actually solves our problem and concludes our lecture. This is the famous relationship between gamma function and zeta function which are both originally uh, found by Euler and then used for other things to have a lot of cool other formulas. Okay. This concludes this lecture. If you want to see my new videos coming up soon, so please subscribe, okay? And I think that's it for this video. So, see you guys.